might seem weird to start this first lecture on observation with a different method, with ethnography. And obviously for me it's not weird because ethnography is a very important method. Ethnography is a method in which observation plays a huge role. And according to some authors, ethnography is an epistemology rather than just a method. It's more than just a method. So let's start thinking about ethnography. What is ethnography? Ethnography is first and foremost an idea. The idea of ethnography is that a researcher stays for a longer period of time with a group he or she is studying. And this staying means working together, eating together, partying together, having fun, leisure, uh, going to church or a mosque or uh, whatever re religious gathering together in order to understand the people under study. And for many researchers, um, ethnography is uh, equated with the main method within ethnography, and that is participant observation. In another lecture, I will say something about participant observation. But ethnography is often combined with other methods. The goal of ethnography is to try to understand the people in the study. So by staying for a prolonged period of time with people, participating with them, as well as observing them, we try to understand a certain group. So if you do participant observation within a football team, for instance, you try to understand the local norms and values of this specific group. You try to understand the norms and values of this football team, for instance. For some people, when they refer to ethnography, they refer to the written product, the book. This is a beautiful ethnography. In his ethnography, Malinowski said this and that. So it's often used to refer to a book. But when we discuss it within this course, we often refer to it as a method. So where does this me method come from? And it's always fun to look into the origins of different research methods. And some would claim that Herodotus was one of the first ethnographers, and probably the first ethnographers. He wrote this book, Historia, while traveling through the Mediterranean, speaking with people, eating with them, staying with them, and in order to try to understand them. Others would claim that the origins of ethnography lies with travelers, people like Ibn Battuta, uh, who traveled from Morocco throughout Asia, Marco Polo, uh, as a traveler, and there were others as well. Or colonial servants, people like uh, Jakob Hafner. Others would claim that the first ethnographers were German explorers in Siberia. At least they coined the term ethnography, and they worked for Peter the Great in order to try to understand different groups, tribes as they call them, in Siberia. For sociology, I think Beatrice Potter Webb is one of the first ethnographers. Although her participant observation was rather short. Some authors claim that she only stayed for a few days rather than months in the sweatshop she's describing. But at least she made the claim that through ethnography we can gain understanding in a, a different and probably better way, at least of the poor she was studying. Um, Bronislav Malinowski is often claimed by anthropologists as the first ethnographer because he stayed for a real prolonged period of time on the Trobian Islands. He was stuck there because of the, the Great War. Um, it was the only place he could possibly stay. He wasn't allowed in Australia, so he stayed at the Trobian Islands and did his famous research, among other things, the Kula trade. So this ethnography, it's a method at least that's how we discuss it, and we discuss it as ethnographic fieldwork. And this fieldwork, as I said before, consists of all kinds of methods. Many people would say participant observation, but it's more than just participant observation. It's also direct observations, unobtrusive observations, interviews in all kinds of forms, and document analysis. But the main part of participant observation is this, participation and observation. 
And in some other lectures, I will be talking about how to participate or how to think about participation and uh, how to think about observation.